Okay, I'm not gonna teach you the method of using a bump map or a grayscale map in uh, Photoshop. We're gonna convert this to a normal map, basically. Okay, make a, a white background or a grayscale depending on your needs. Uh, black will be inwards and white will become outwards. Okay, basically we have two maps now, or two colors now. Uh, we're gonna make this one layer, make sure this is not a smart layer. Then we go off to filter X normal. This came with the installation of X normal itself. Make sure this plugin is in the right folder in Photoshop. Otherwise, this will not show up. And we're going to do height to, to normal. You can also make occlusion maps with this. No, this is, this is very helpful. Okay. Uh, most of the settings should be right. If not, check the source. This can be one. And which one is which one. But most of the time this is correct, so we just continue. Okay. It might not be as visual, but there is a circle here. We can make a normal map a bit more extreme by going into the U saturation nerve filter or adjustment layer and cranking up the saturation should work although this time not much happened hmm there's another way that you can use is taking the layer and overlaying it you can already see it makes it more we keep doing that and the shape comes out a lot more basically we have the shape that we create yes this will be a bit noisy. How we can reduce the noise is combining everything, going to filter and adding a Gaussian blur. Let's see. Uh, nope. This probably will need quite strong blur. Oops, I'm doing it on the wrong layer. That might be why. Um, Gaussian blur. Ah, now it's at least updates. We want a nice smooth, a bit more smoother. Try not to get these artifacts because they will be really noticeable on your mesh. Okay, save this. Let's check it out. What came out of it? Um, PNG. Normal. Uh, let's start Maya. Okay. You can basically make any kind of form with this. Let's take a bit harder brush. Make sure there is not a hard transition, but a small smooth transition. Normal maps don't capture hard transitions. I can show you now what the result of this will be. Uh, it will be bad, I can tell you. Maybe the plugin already smooths it out, but quite sure it will give a bad result. Mm. Oh, it does give some result. Here it basically mimics the height. Well, this now actually has some kind of bevel. It cannot do like the literally straight out. Up. Press D to make the layers black. I'm having some issues with my tablet here. It cannot do this kind of capture. It cannot. This will be the same. It will do this. It will not be. It needs to see this slope, like the normals are different here. That causes the green and the red in this image, which basically says I'm like at this angle, I'm at this angle. Blue is always pointing upwards. Um, let's go to Maya and see the result of our previously baked normal map. Okay. 
set it to 11 by 11 size doesn't matter really because it is a 2k or a 2 by 2 power map hyper shade let's give it a blend um, you do have to know that normal maps don't work without specularity they need specularity to show their properties of light reflecting differently so make sure the shader can have light Lambridge can work but not as good you prefer a specular one because they nicely show the effects also the normal map is a tangent space normal map it's not a grayscale normal map make sure to tap this button otherwise it will show really weird okay oh wait I already did that uh, blend okay let's go in here open it desktop uh, normal Bam. now let's apply it Come on. From Maya, you want to be in their high quality rendering, otherwise it doesn't show up. And here is our beautiful normal map. Uh, that was it, folks.